good morning I did not take off my makeup so don't mind looking a little shabby but it doesn't matter it is Friday March 30th and it is 9 10 hopefully here in a few days I'll get my SSI money then I'll be able to do some things but I think I'm gonna go back to sleep because I'm still tired I need to go to the bathroom and then I'll go back to sleep but anyways I'll talk to you guys later so you guys, it is currently 9.19 and I thought I'd go to sleep, but I am hungry so I'm about to eat this and I wanted to show you guys this. This is the stuff that my doctor um, prescribed me because I have diabetes um, and it has a certain amount of carbs on it, in it so that, you know, and I also have something I want to show you guys. I just got those yesterday from Walmart. So pretty. I had to get it resized, so I had to wait a week, but look at that pretty little thing. Yes, yes. So you guys, it is currently 11.54 and you wouldn't believe what just happened. So, um, I don't know if you guys know, but the last time I went to my appointment, my doctor talked about my diabetes and she's like, we might need to do a scope down your, down your throat and see what's going on in your stomach. Cause I'm not gaining weight, even though my sugars are pretty good. Um, I scheduled that appointment for Tuesday and my mom's, the therapist appointment was on Wednesday, which she wanted me to go to. So I call my mom and I say, hey, ma, you know, my appointment is on Tuesday, my diabetes appointment. Keep in mind, my mom was like, they need to do this quick before this even happened this morning. She's like, oh, they need to get it done and over with. They need to, you know, they need to do something. This female had the nerve to tell me, oh, funny how people aren't there for me when, um, when she gets really rough. Keep in mind... The last court date that she had, I was in the fucking parking lot because we brought Shayla, her puppy, with us. And I wasn't going to leave Shayla in the fucking car in the hot weather alone in a courthouse parking lot. I was there for her for four hours while she got her shit together. Four hours, dude. And then I cried in the fucking court courtroom. And the last court date she had, I was there for that one too. And I told her, how is that fair though? For you to say that when her husband is being abusive and they're going back and forth, I'm always there. I was there for four hours in that courthouse parking lot, y'all. And when I got in that damn courthouse, I fucking cried. I was praying that everything would go fine and everything else, and it did. But the fact that my mom can say that and have the, you know, like, somebody could die from diabetes. It's some serious shit. And it's more important than a therapist appointment she has. I'm not saying everything is more important than what she has going on, but I've helped her. Her husband has gotten the divorce papers handed to him. Keep in mind, on that court date where I waited in that car for four hours before it happened she's like are you sure you're okay with being in the car in this hot weather for four hours or until i'm done i was like yeah we need to get this shit done so that this situation can be done and over with i am be beside myself right now nobody else is there for her 
Everybody else is on her hu husband's side. Instead of being on her side. My sister's not there for her in that situation. My brother's not there for her in that situation. But me, I go to my mom's and I stay with my mom. And I'm just like my mom. I'm a mini-me of my mom. And the fact that she had the nerve to say that shit, like, that's selfish as fuck. That really is. Oh, no, y'all. I'm just upset. Like, and she doesn't approve of some of the things I do. And how I live my life. But at the same time, I don't tell her, like, she's my mom. Of course I want it. But I don't tell her what she needs to do and what she doesn't need to do. I don't tell her how to live her life. She does what she wants. But yet, she has the nerve to tell me how I'm doing shit wrong. And my decisions, she doesn't like my decisions in life. Some of my decisions. I'm just like... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But anyways, y'all, I'm about to take a nap. I'm tired. I'm stressed the fuck out. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. So you guys, so you guys it is currently 2.15 and I just took my shower. And um, as you guys can see, just took my shower. I just took my shower. Hopefully it didn't show anything that's not supposed to be. Um, shown, but it is what it is, but I'll see you guys later. Hey, you guys. I'm having a hard time. I don't know if you guys heard what, you know, happened with me and my mom, but this time I think it's different. I just need my space. We need our space from each other, and, you know, all I wanted, you know, all I prayed for this past couple of months is for my mom to be happy again and the bad situation she's in to get out of it and to be happy again you know that's all I wanted for her and this is what I get dude this is what I fucking get um if you guys don't know um love is poison by NBA young boy I think it's called listen to it it's a great song I've been crying to this shit I'm just like I'm doing I gotta keep my distance because I can't keep doing this and being here for her if she's just gonna act like I wasn't there for her when I was. You know what I mean? Like, on no bullshit. Like, our family needs to be on Dr. Phil. On some real shit. Dr. Phil to the fucking rescue. But it is what it is, y'all. It is currently 2.31, so I'm gonna lay down and just think about shit and... You know, like, I, when she hurt me, you know, like, I put my trust in her. I was loyal to her. I helped her out. I did everything I could possibly do because that is who I am as a human being. And, you know, like, when she, she said that on the phone after, you know, everything I did. And her husband has been, you know, um, handed papers, divorce papers, because that's what we did at the court that one day um you know her hu husband it, got the divorce papers so he has them so everything is ew i'm so sorry you guys gross i'm only human and my nose is running so sorry but um You know, I sat in the courthouse parking lot for four hours so she could do that stuff. So we could get this shit done and over with. So she could be happy again. That's all I wanted out of the situation. Her to be happy. And this is what I get. So it is what it is, y'all. And I'm just going to have to move on and live my life and keep my distance. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. So you guys, I just did my makeup and this is what it looks like. It's like a purple, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a purple. So yeah, that's my makeup y'all.